Hey, Jared, I know you were playing, you know, this this aggressive in the you know latter half of last season, particularly in the bu bubble. But can you just take us into your mindset from an aggression standpoint and how you've been so effective, I think, for double-digit rebound games in the, in the first five for the team? Uh, you know, just going out there and just doing it. Uh, I feel like sometimes I think too much about, oh, what am I doing wrong? What am I doing right? But these last couple in the bubble and these last couple games, I'm just going out there and just having fun. I think that's the main thing. You know, once you're out there enjoying yourself, you play your best. What was this process like in this game with Atlanta? There's a team that's so good offensively and yeah. trying to get the communication right to try to limit them defensively. defensively. Right. You can tell we struggled. Yeah, there are some times where we got the mix-ups or we got the matchups wrong. There's times where we didn't call the right switch. But I think just staying in the game, staying focused, not letting it get to us. It's a long game. You know, there's a lot of offense going on, almost 150 points between all of us or between each team. So just going out there and just keeping your mind right, not trying to overthink things. We'll go to Greg Logan with Newsday. Hi, uh, Jared. Can you give me some idea of, of how much you guys were looking to uh, KD and Kai uh, coming down the stretch in the fourth quarter? They had uh, 30 of your 43 points. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> well, yeah, you can say, oh, I mean, uh, the, their names speak for themselves. When it gets down to crunch time and – we know where the ball needs to go. The ball needs to be in their hands. And they proved why that needs to happen. So we kept trying to go to them. We kept knowing that they're going to make the right play. They're going to pass it to the right spot. And we put our trust in them. Alex Schiffer with The Athletic. Jared, you and Kevin had good games on the boards, but they out-rebounded you guys by, it looks like, 14. Just what, what makes them so tough to, to contend with there? Is it just their length or, or something else? And, uh, their length and their aggressive move on the offensive board. Usually you have like one or two guys crashing on the offensive board, but they have, they had felt like six people crashing. You know, it was hard for us to box out, hard for us to grab the rebound. And credit to them, they were aggressive. And, you know, they, when they have athletic people going like that to the boards, it's hard to box them out. Malika Andrews with ESPN. Hi, Jarrett. Uh, I'm wondering, first, did DeAndre break your back when he jumped on you <laughs> post-game? And secondly, could you just speak to the evolution of your guys' relationship? All right. And uh, you, see, you see me babbling down there for the boards. I can handle DeAndre. <laughs> no, but, uh, yeah, DeAndre. He's, he's a big boy. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he is. Uh, he's been great. He's been cheering me on every step of the way since he's got here, teaching me post moves, teaching me how to guard post teaching me just little things on the, the offensive end and defensive end. And, and so just him, just being able to have him, you have his, have, he has my back, he's been teaching me stuff, been a great teammate, and just, he's, like I said, been a great teammate. That's all I can say.